What are you doing? Hey! Good boy. Yeah. Well, today is uh, it's a race day. First one, real life. So, kind of nervous. I, did, I have no idea what to expect. So we're gonna get packed up and then uh, go over and get hooked up with Zach. We're gonna ride down together. It's gonna be fun. All right, so here is the bike. Nothing's really has changed. Uh, I did get these new uh, Timekeeper by American something on Amazon. I don't know. Anyway, they were decently priced, not too expensive. Did get some new bars, two carbon arrow bars with uh, a little bit of flare and a perfect excuse to flare the shifters. So everything else is the same. Uh, I do have power pedals now, so I can do power data. But uh, yeah, this is the the bike. I also realized that I said uh, nothing really has changed as if you knew what was on it before because I've never done a video about this bike. So uh, the wheels are super team, 50 mil, so carbon. Uh, yeah, these are the first carbon wheels I ever bought. We will see how they perform. Hopefully everything's good to go. All right, we're in. I really don't know what to expect. Uh, I mean, I've done plenty of Zwift racing, but uh, this one's different. Let's talk a little bit about uh, racing, I guess, what, what this is. So this is, um, it's a crit race, which is probably one of my favorite race styles on Zwift. Um, I'm not really a light guy, so climbing doesn't really fit uh, my abilities. I feel like I do okay with uh, with rollers, you know, like short climbs, little punches um, that I can kind of gas it over. I say that and then like last Tuesday, a week ago, for the uh, Swift Racing League uh, finals, um, I, I did pretty good, all things considered. Um, and it was a hill repeat, so which I, I kind of shocked myself. I am genuinely uh, excited. I think it'll be uh, a lot of fun. It is something that I hope and plan to continue throughout the summer. Uh, I think this goes through August, every Tuesday night. So yeah, we'll see. I'm headed to Zach's right now, and we're gonna get loaded up and head down to the park. So it should be fun. All right, what's up, everybody? I'm going to try my best to do a, uh, a walkthrough here. So first lap, starting off, I legitimately don't have any idea of what to expect. Um, so we get started here. Um, clipped in pretty well. I was shocked, and I'm just trying to set in. I can kind of see Zach's shadow behind me. I legitimately thought that the Peloton was together. Um, I kind of look back at here and notice that I'm not with everybody. Um, my goal in this race was not to do this. I wanted to sit in. I didn't want to try to be in the wind the whole time. Uh, so I'm not going to like completely stop but I was like all right I'm not gonna try to send it so uh, just trying to take it a little easy um, the part of this map it's it's it drops and then it rises so it's we're kind of going back uphill a little bit anywhere from two to three percent on this section kind of spikes up at the end here so right here I remember turning around and seeing that there's still a probably a two or a three second gap and uh, again I'm not trying to like own this race and be in the front that wasn't the goal we actually talked about just staying in the pack and I'm not trying to be the one that you know goes off and tries to to fully send it I think the issue here is that 
Um, I probably marked myself right at the beginning, seeing that uh, I could do this or that I'm in the front or whatever. So if, if I'm going to do this, no one's going to chase. I don't know. We only had, I think, 11 riders uh, in this, this race. So it wasn't like there's a huge amount of people to, to come chase me back. So for the first like couple laps here, I'm I'm trying to stay at a decently good pace, somewhere around 20 miles an hour maybe. Um, you can see here I'm not even pedaling, I'm just checking back. I'm really trying to let them know like, hey, I'm not trying to, to fully send it here. So if you want to catch up, like I'm I'm not gonna be mean. Um, the one fun part though about being at the front is you get to kind of ride however you want. No one's around you really. Um, and so if I want to take a corner a certain way, so that one was pretty, uh, that was a nice thing to have kind of on my side here. Not that this is a super technical course. Um, so yeah, I'm just settling in. I am going to let this video play through. So I'm going to try to do a whole kind of breakdown and talk through the whole thing. So since this is uh, a boring lap, nothing's really happening. Um, I do have power pedals now, so uh, I can put on some cool stuff. So we've got power, heart rate, cadence, speed, and then the course map. Um, shout out to NorCal Cycling. Uh, <laughs> I definitely am not trying to rip you off, but I love watching your stuff, so I'm going to do some similar things. There isn't a lot of wind, but I did put in the wind direction just for fun. So it is coming around east-northeast. Uh, Strava said it was only around two miles an hour. I really don't even remember feeling the wind, either a tail, cross, or headwind. I just put it in. Um, so there's chances that it might get more windier as the days progress, but here we are. First preem lap, I'm gonna be honest, completely slipped my mind. I knew that it was a preem lap when I heard the bell. There's three preems, there's a, a men's preem, or however they were to open preem, then the females get a preem, and then there's one more preem. So however they, whatever the, the difference is between the first and last one. But so this is the first one. So I think this is the open one. So it's for everybody. Um, so I know that it's a preem. Again, I'm not trying to completely roast it on this race. Um, the one issue, and uh, you might notice it here throughout the video, my Wahoo uh, heart rate monitor, the ticker, is acting up. It's not really reading correctly for me, but I do wear a whoop uh, for my daily kind of heart rate stuff and just tracking my strain and my sleep. It's an optical sensor. I'm not sure of the whole technical difficult, the technical like differences, um, but it's not fast. So like the 180 beats per minute here did not, I, d I don't remember feeling 180. And then like f later on in the race, the sprint like, I remember my heart, you can see, I don't play it out, but my my heart rate gets higher after the sprint when I'm done. So I just think it's a little slow on the Bluetooth. It's kind of annoying, but anyway, so again, I forgot this is a preem lap. So in my mind, I'm just trying to stay with this guy. I can tell he's probably faster. He's uh, been one that's been behind me for a while. But at this point, I forget that it's a preem, and I'm, I'm like, why is he looking at me? Uh, and it wasn't until we literally rolled through that I was like, Oh yeah, that was a preem lap, so I could have totally just sprinted. I'm more interested here in letting them know that I'm not trying to be a jerk. Like I'm, I I would love to stay in and have a group that kind of rotates. Um, but at this point, they've probably already marked me as the big guy off the front. He's easily draftable. Uh, let's just stay behind him, and so. I realize that again so my goal here is I'm gonna try to hold something that feels comfortable um, the heart rate seems kind of high um, power was looking okay um, but again I'm not trying to completely send it I'm just trying to hold a pace and at this point I can see that they, they're pretty much caught up like they're behind me I don't know how many so now it's just a matter of like owning the fact that I've done this. Uh, I'm not trying to send it. I'm not attacking. I'm just going to sit in. And if, if someone gets in front of me, like I want them to know that I'm going to like, I'm about, I'm, about, I'm, about, I'm, I'm, I'm about the pack. I'm all about the pack, but this is my first race. They don't know me. This is also cat five. 
I think a lot of people here, this is their first race. So no one really understands it. Um, but going back to what I was saying about the data, uh, it kind of stinks that my heart rate, it's there. It's good to see after, but it's not instant. So it, it's not a good metric to, in the moment, for me to be like, oh, wow, like this is happening or this isn't happening, which stunk. Um, but anyway, it's good to have power. I was trying to watch that a lot and, um, just, you know, whatever. So I believe this is the female preem, which doesn't apply to me. Uh, and then we have the final preem. So he just rang the bell again. Um, and I'll be honest, I completely forgot that this was a preem lap. And I'm just tunnel vision, I guess. First one, I'm not really thinking. All I'm, all I'm really listening for is the fourth bell. Um, because it wasn't for sure, I wasn't for sure on how many laps we were having. He was putting a number up, but I, I wasn't looking at it. So in my head, I'm just racing until that last bell, and then I'm, and then I'm just going to try to sit in and see how it feels. I've had no draft yet, and we're five laps in out of 13. I don't know how many laps there are. Again, I haven't really looked at the number. Um, all I'm really trying to do is pay attention to the pack. That way, if, if they do catch up, I do get some draft. And then watching the road, trying to take good lines. Um, I was actually playing around with a couple of different ideas. Breaking into a turn, breaking before the turn and coming out of it. There's really only one place where it kind of matters, and it's that fast one at the bottom where, before we start climbing where we are now. Um... What's absolutely crazy about this, and Zach told me about this too, but this section here, it like the GoPro does not do it justice. It's not the steepest thing you've ever climbed, but it's a good, it's, it's, you know, there's a good section of it and it sneaks up on you and it's really easy to like kind of get caught on that. So it, it was, I'd watched some GoPro videos of, of races here and I did not think it was that I don't want to say difficult, but just, yeah, it's just enough. Anyway, I got the preem on that lap, actually. Shout out <laughs> to me not even realizing it. Uh, Zach had to remind me I won some deer jerky from it, so yay. Again, I'm just thinking here, all right, they've definitely marked me. I can see this dude's shadow, and I, whenever I, t I look back, I mean, I just feel like he was on my wheel, and... Another funny moment. Again, I'm roasting myself here. First crit race. Uh, I, I've gone off the front. They've all marked me, probably. I completely forgot about the idea of, like, talking or, you know, flicking an elbow and having someone, hey, like, you pull for a little bit. So whether they knew it or not, because the guy behind me actually told me this was his first race, too, so I don't even know if he would have understood if I did, did start talking or asking anything. But, you know, I didn't ask for anybody to get in front of me, even though there are probably four or five guys right on us right now. So I could have said something, and I didn't. Um, I'm really afraid of offending people, and this might be just a roast test of myself, but I don't like making people upset. I don't like people thinking badly of me, and so I guess I just didn't want people to feel bad. <laughs> I don't know. Uh racing is so different than just riding but it's funny to go back and watch yourself um, so at this point I've kind of just realized that the odds of them trying to you know push the pace is probably not going to happen I, I feel like I've definitely set the race pace for sure um and, and they're not going to push it any harder, and they're going to sit in. I'm a bigger dude. So I'm kind of owning it. You know, I'm taking it easy intentionally. If you're going to let, if you're gonna make me pull, I'm not going to pull hard. So my heart rate is high. I would actually probably equate that more to anxiety and just nervousness. You know, every time we come around a turn, seeing those shadows or turning my head and seeing how close they are. A big fear of mine in racing is, uh, is crashing. <laughs> or making someone else crash. I just don't want to ever have to deal with that, knock on wood. So every time I hit this turn, that was what I was thinking. I was like, don't slide out, don't clip somebody. And so, yeah, I'm just, 
I'm, I'm, I'm content here. You know, it would have been nice to have some draft, but I'm just, you know, here. But finally, I'm like, okay, something's happening. So I did spike up. I think I hit like 1,200 watts for like a second. And I was like, okay, cool, like an attack. Great. So I, I get with them. Funny story. Don't think that guy knew there was branches there, but definitely got launched into the branches. Probably my bad for not knowing that it was there. But definitely feeling a little boxed in right here. Uh, claustrophobia was setting in. Um, but also, I wanted them to see my confidence that, like, okay, if you're going to attack like that, like, I'm not going to try to uh, ruin your attack, I'm, but I am going to stay with you. And so right here, I don't know what happened. Um, they both just backed off. And right here again, I am back on the front. Um, so... If I'm on the front, I'm not going to push it hard. You know, uh, uh, we're definitely winning here. Um, we're definitely... Uh, I don't know what that bell was for. I thought he already rang the bell three times. Maybe he didn't do it three in a row. Anyway. Maybe this is the preem that I was talking about. See, I don't even, I'm not even paying attention. Um, but, but going back to what I was saying, like, we're about to lap some people here. So, like, I know that there's no need to really push the pace any harder. I'm not, I don't have a team here. I'm completely solo. And it's just a practice grid. So, for me, it's like, if I'm on the front and you're going to sit in my draft, I'm going to ride at a, at a pace that doesn't necessarily hurt me. Because I have no desire to really give you anything else. We're not, we're not chasing anybody. We're not... All we're doing is just holding a pace because we're the group. I'm pretty sure we're in front of another group. Again, there's only 11 people, but I think there were four or five people behind me, if that. And so again, I'm just gonna sit in on, on my pace. Like, and if you're gonna draft me, that's fine, but you're gonna draft me uh, not as fast as I could probably go if we were rotating. So that's kind of how I, I quantify it. This hill, though, it's crazy. Like, again, it's 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 such a kicker if you're not paying attention to it. Maybe, so I think this is the preem that I won because he rang that bell, but I guess I just wasn't paying attention. So I guess tip number one is, uh, is pay attention so that I know what's going on. But I won the jerky, that's all that matters. And the kid won the other one, so, I mean, he probably didn't chase because he already had won one preem, I imagine. You'll see it in the sprint, too. It, I mean, it is just a practice crit. If you were to see the A race, it definitely looks a little bit more legit. Um, but here we are. So, I've, again, I've just kind of gotten real used to the fact that they're on my wheel, they're on my tail, and that's just how it's going to be probably for the rest of the race. And so for me, I'm just riding comfortably, but you know, not too comfortably. Um, trying to hold something. It is crazy how fast this course is. It's it's only 0.7 miles, and we were doing it pretty quickly. Obviously, not as fast as everyone else, but I think on my Strava. Um, my fastest, my fastest lap, which is the last one. Let me pull it up real quick. So my fastest lap was the last one, and I averaged 25 miles an hour at 426 watts. Minute 38. So it's pretty quick, and then you get on and you see the, uh, the, uh, the A racers and their times that they were setting because I went on and was like, I clicked on the today feature so I could see who had set times today, yesterday and I mean it's just crazy how quick those guys are but I think I would have probably been a lot more burned matches wise if there had been wind 
I think because it's pretty low wind, if it, it didn't even feel like anything, um, I'm just comfortable to keep doing what I'm doing. Again, I should have flicked an elbow or said something. You know, I can see that there's at least two guys behind me. So if they're going to take my draft, like they should pull. The guy behind me actually did say at the end of the race, he was like, man, you did a lot of work today. And I admitted, I was like, I just completely forgot to ask for help or to work together. Um, and so, but it, it doesn't go both ways. They're not going to shout from the back and be like, hey, my turn. <laughs> you know, it's, they're probably wondering why I'm doing this. Um, Zach did tell me, because um, I felt bad for him. Uh, and we were talking about the whole dynamics, but he said that, you know, as I kind of set off, I, I wish I had a rear view camera because I didn't realize how much of a gap that really kind of evolved. But he said one of the guys that was with him was like, just let him go. And, you know, they probably thought that I would bonk really easily, which I think, again, I'm glad that I've watched a lot of videos from like NorCal, uh, other crit videos, just racing kind of ideology of like how to do it thought process and uh one of the big things is like you know do the least amount of work and go as fast as possible i'm clearly not doing the best job at it because i've had like no draft at all but i'm trying to use my momentum i think like i said it uh, i'll say it at the end of the video here for the vlog part but right around here you know after you get over that climb this is this is a false flat it's it's kind of downhill and it is so easy to carry momentum, especially when you get to this turn and it really drops. It's just like I could let off the pedals a little bit and then still be rolling. So, I, again, it wasn't an intentional like, oh, I'm, I'm just so packed full of adrenaline. I've got to I've got to be on the front the whole time. It was just I'm just going to go. And I assumed everybody would catch up. But that might be Zwift racing kind of thoughts in my head. Um so anyway, my be, but I can't I can't fault the race. I, I feel like I did a good job. Um, I do like I said earlier. I do feel bad for Zach because we had talked about this being the first one. There's not a lot of people out. It's only 11. This is the first race. Let's just get our feet wet, kind of get some you know just figure ourselves out. And so we totally were just cool to sit in, not really go for a finish, um, but sit in and then if we feel good maybe try something strange an attack or some sort of whatever um and i i just completely like blew that plan so anyway shout out to this guy though i think he was on a gravel bike um slick tires but they were pretty pretty thick um and i was like cool so again i'm not trying to make everybody feel like i'm the jerk that's just gonna own it like the second he took a little bit of a, of a lead here I was like that's great I'm gonna stick with him and you know let him um, him push a little bit um, and and benefit from his draft so I did get a little draft here um, didn't necessarily feel any different um, I'm still I've still got a higher cadence um, but again I, I was I was happy to uh, let him do it and it was nice to have a little bit of respite not that I necessarily needed it I mean my heart rate is super high like I said I do think the whoop is is giving some weird results um, delayed results not necessarily you know from like I feel like that heart rate was from the top of the climb and it's still not quite coming down yet even though I'm kind of in a relaxed state here because um, this is a roller like I'm it's just downhill um, and then by the time I hit the climb it's it's now it's I think it's just delayed and I need to get my ticker fixed or get a new one um, so anyway here I kind of noticed that he's uh, not holding a speed that I'd like to hold and I don't want him to feel like he has to pull the whole time so I get in front of him and start putting a pace on a little bit trying to hold somewhere around 19-ish, 20 over this climb a little bit if I can do it, but I'm not. I'm at 18. Here, I'm just kind of going off of feel. I keep looking over my shoulder to see how close they are. Um, you know, do I stand? Do I stay seated and push a lot? Um, and really not trying to spend a lot of watts here because this would be an easy place to bonk. Um, 
the tension was already, I was, I was already feeling it like in my quads and my hamstring, like I could feel it, the tightness, the lactate buildup. So I was trying not to do that at all costs. Uh, mainly because if I'm going to do this kind of thing and I'm going to be the, the noob that stays in the front the whole time, um, then I, I need to finish. So anyway, um, speaking of noobish behaviors, I don't know if you can see in my, uh, in the shadow there, I dropped my water bottle the very first time I tried to get it. So if that tells you anything about how experienced I am in this, that's it. Anyway, final lap. Don't know what to expect. I'm, you know, there's been one little counter with those two guys and then the guy that did pull a little bit in the lap before here. I can see that I've got, you know, three guys on me. One guy is like licking my wheel. He's so close. And I was like, okay, they're probably going to use this as at their benefit, maybe slingshot around me. Um, and so again, I'm just going to take my line here. I'm, I am trying to kind of up some speed because this is the last lap, put out some power through the turn, trying to carry as much speed into this hill as possible because it is, uh, it is a little bit longer and so it's hard to roll it. So again, here we go, just like I thought. Maybe something, um, but for me, I'm perfectly fine to let there be a little bit of a push in front of me because I'm trying to use a slingshot if possible. Um, learn my lesson, I don't want to be on the inside with a tree. And here we go, just like I thought, this kid probably going to be the one to do a sprint out of the saddle, waiting for him to do it. I'm not really going to contest him because, again, whatever. So here he goes. The only reason I didn't sprint here is this little mix up here we've got two riders that were lapping the inside line would have been really difficult i didn't want to clip his elbows so i took a way outside line seeing what 305 is doing realizing he's not going to sprint so i just do an easy sprint 800 watts and second place so first race and uh that's it a lot of lessons to be learned definitely things i want to do differently um he did say good race, so good race to him. I don't know his name. Didn't see him on Strava. Um, but, yeah, so that's my first crit race, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to try to do a lot more videos like this now that I'm doing this. It's easier with the power data. So, anyway, thanks so much for watching. There's a little bit of a vlog end, but uh, I'll see you the next race. Race is over, and uh, man, <laughs> not not what I expected. Um, pretty sure I got second place. Um, it was definitely an interesting thing. Uh, I ended up, I mean, I real I hit the front, and the way the course is set up, it's basically a long kind of roller, like it just rolls down, then kind of a climb, and then it just kind of keeps doing that up and down. Well, that section of like pretty much downhill, I don't know. For me, it was just so easy to maintain momentum that I could just let off the pedals and I felt like I was just flying. So I, I stayed on the front. There was a couple of times that there was a few moments where some people went out in front. I didn't necessarily try to get in front of them as much to stay with them. And um, uh, yeah, I think they let me do it <laughs> so that I could give them the draft. Uh, I don't think anybody was looking to uh, pull in front of me. If I, you know, that's just the name of the game. Um, I mean, I'm anxious to see the footage and see how that feels. Uh, but uh, all in all, like, you know, it was, it was pretty cool. It was such a cool experience. It was fun. Um, the blood was pumping. Uh, I did win a cream lap. So got some jerky. Uh, yeah. First crit race, everything went well. I don't know, knock on wood, uh, nothing bad happened. I didn't crash. Uh, I didn't. I don't think I made anybody mad. Uh, so anyway, it's gonna be fun. Zach had a good time, I'm excited. And uh, it's gonna be cool to kind of see this progression. So thanks so much for watching the video. Like I said in some earlier videos, this is not necessarily what I've always done for content, um, but this is a huge part of my life. 
uh, and it's you know something I do for fun, for fitness, and I hope it inspires you uh, to, whether it's competitive or not, or just to kind of feed your passions and kind of do what's fun. If, if, if it's cycling, if this helps you kind of get into it, or if it's anything at all, just, uh, you know, it's, it's cool. Feed your passions uh, and, and see where it takes you. You can meet people. Zach and I, we're friends because of cycling. Um, not because of, you know, anything else. I, I remembered him from a race. I saw him on a, on a bike path and uh, I recognized his helmet. And I just rode up and I said, hey, did you race in uh, the Groovy Gritty? And he, yes, he did. And, and ever since then, we've kept up. We've done some rides together. And now we're doing this. So, you know, you never know who you're going to meet. Uh, you never know the experiences you'll have. So I'm excited to kind of see how this progresses uh, and, and to what extent I produce that progression. I don't know yet, but I'm just having fun. So if you have any questions or anything, comment below. I will see you at the next whatever I do, race, ride, thing, so peace.